find Darwin. So while searching for the other toys, Chaser knew exactly which one to pick up right away. But now she seems to have to think about which one might be Darwin. It's taking her longer. She takes so long. I call her back. Chaser? Find Darwin. Find Darwin. Finally, she makes a choice. Darwin! It's just Darwin! I can't believe it. Chaser's never seen that doll before. Darwin! That's Darwin! You could curl! Yet, somehow, she made the connection. That the name she never heard before you found Darwin. went with the one toy she didn't recognize. A good girl. Chaser's not the only dog to do this. That's Darwin. And what's more, dogs like Chaser have shown that they will remember the connection they made between new name and new toy. <laughs> this is yet another way they can learn. What's interesting about seeing how dogs are learning these new words is that people thought this was really unique to humans, that this was something that was only humans do this. But it seems that no, that's not the case. That dogs can make these inferences about what novel utterances mean, and they can remember them for quite a long period. Now this looks just like what little children are doing. And so it's remarkable because the flexibility we see in dogs seems to be very similar to what you see in young children at a very important age in their development. Dog research is just getting started. But hopes are high that this animal so long ignored by science, may give us new insights into how learning works and offer a unique window into the evolution of the mind.